Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Zoom and more specifically, I'm going to try to answer a question that I've gotten a lot recently. And that is how do you join a Zoom meeting on your iPhone? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is gonna be a really quick video. There's really not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you wanna join a Zoom meeting on your iPhone? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you're doing some traveling and it's easier to sign into Zoom using your iPhone. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's all handled here in the Zoom app. It's this blue and white one right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to open up my Zoom app now. Okay guys, I went ahead and opened up my Zoom app. This is the home screen here. Now here on the home screen, if you want to join a Zoom meeting on your iPhone, you're going to need an invitation from whoever set up the Zoom meeting. Usually they're going to send it to you via email and you can join one of two different ways. You can either dial in with your phone. Uh, a lot of people don't like to do that just because the call quality is going to be a little bit lower. You're you're just using a phone call. If you're gonna join through the Zoom app, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this blue button right here called join. Okay, once you have clicked there, you're gonna see an option to enter in a meeting ID. The meeting ID is a numeric code you need to get from whoever you're joining the Zoom meeting with. Usually they're gonna email that to you. So let me jump on over to my Zoom meeting email. Okay guys, I went ahead and jumped over to an email that I received for a sign in to a Zoom meeting. So there's a couple of different places you need to look on this email. The first one, is going to be this link right here saying that you can join this Zoom meeting from your computer, tablet, or smartphone. All you do is just click on that link and then it's going to automatically populate with your Zoom meeting ID. The second way you can do it is by looking for this button right here called meeting ID. This is going to be 11 digits numeric. That is a Zoom meeting ID. That is the number you need in order to sign into a Zoom meeting. So let me go ahead and copy this to my clipboard. Okay, so I went ahead and copied my Zoom meeting ID. That's all the information that we need from the Zoom call invitation email. So let me jump back on over to the Zoom app. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna go ahead and paste this Zoom meeting ID here. Okay, now I've pasted the number right here to join the Zoom meeting. Before we go any further, you wanna make a couple of decisions right here. So depending on who you're talking to, you may want to disconnect your audio. By default, it is disconnected. Also with your video, it's by default automatically turned off. If you want your video to be showing and also your audio to be recording, go ahead and swipe these little buttons buttons over and as you can see they turn green. When they're green that means your video is on and also your audio will be on when you join the Zoom meeting. For me I don't like to do that so I'm going to go ahead and turn this off but that's really up to you. But that's basically it for now as far as joining a Zoom meeting. Once you're ready to join click on this blue join button. Okay once you click there it's going to give you a pop-up letting you know that you are pending until the person lets you into the Zoom meeting. However once you've entered that in and press join that person will receive notification to let you into the meeting if they wish to do so. The Zoom meeting invitation I used is an expired one. That's why it's giving me this error right here because the Zoom meeting ID no longer exists. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking for information on how to join a Zoom meeting with your iPhone, that is the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.